everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card using the stitched together card making stamps and thin cuts with the Aurora papers. So this is the paper I'm going to be using and then I'm going to be using the holographic papers. I think this one's called Dreamy holographic and it's still available on my website. So let's get started. I'm using this large happy stamp and it's got hash marks in it and it's kind of a, a background to the other thin cut. So I'm going to line this up in my uh, misty because it's kind of a delicate design and I thought maybe I would need to stamp it more than once and so that's why I'm putting it in my MISTI. So I am using a microfiber cloth on this to season it because it's the first time I'm using it and then I'm taking a light color of ink and I'm just going to stamp it off on some scratch paper a couple of times until you hear that tack sound um, then you'll know that it's ready and seasoning just uh, makes gets the stamp ready so that it can take ink and give a clear impression. So now I'm inking it up with Bluebird and then I'm going to stamp it down on white daisy cardstock. And it turns out I just needed to stamp it once. Looks good. Okay, so I'm going to get the misty out of the way in a second and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So this sentiment or the stamp set has several sentiments that go with happy and this card is going to be a birthday card so I'm choosing happy birthday but there's happy anniversary and there's wishing you a happy and then you can fill in Mother's Day, Father's Day, anniversary, there's happy everything. There's a bunch of different sentiments you can make cards with this. So I'm seasoning this uh, the birthday stamp as well because I haven't used, this is the first time I've used this stamp set. So I am stamping it in black ink and I'm using the foam backer sheet underneath it because it's a solid stamp and I want to get a clear impression. So it gives a little bit more cushion. Okay, so now I am going to cut down my pattern paper and I'm kind of figuring out how much room I'm going to need, how much paper I'll need on my card. And ultimately I decided that the decorative pieces on the top and bottom of the card are going to be one inch by four and a quarter. And then the center piece that the happy is going to go on top of, which is the holographic paper, that's going to be uh, four by three and a half. So I'm cutting everything down right now. Okay. So this is a an embossing folder that's from, it's retired, it's from a couple catalogs ago, and it has a bunch of happy birthday sentiments. But really for this project you can use any embossing folder that would back up the happy. You could use polka dots or stars or there's a bunch of different options. This is a birthday card so I chose the, the birthday embossing folder. So now I'm taking that large happy and I'm placing it over the stamped image and then I'm going to cut that out with the thin cut. And there's my die cut piece and then I'm going to stamp, I mean uh, cut out the thin happy with the other thin cut that's going to go over my stamped happy. And this is sapphire and it's the original dark side of sa sapphire cardstock. And that's going to get layered on top. Just like that. Okay, we'll get the big shot out of the way and we'll start assembling our card. This is an A2 size card with the fold at the side and it's four and a quarter by five and a half 
And now I'm just kind of layering it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put Bluebird underneath or how exactly I want it to set this up on my card front. And then I decided I didn't want the Bluebird. I would just use what I had here as my base for my card front, but it needed something on that left side. So I decided to get some white shimmer trim to make a border on the left. Now I'm gluing everything down with the broad tip glue pen. Get the top and bottom of this constellation paper down. And then I decided to pop that holographic paper I'm using some craft foam and it's really thin craft foam so I'm not popping it too much. But just to give it a little extra something. So I'm gluing this with the white glue from Tombow. Seems to be the best glue to work with craft foam. And I'm just gonna put that in between and layer that onto my card front. And then I'll get a block to set on top of it just so it'll set up and glue down evenly. It sets up pretty quick. Okay. So now I'm going to attach my shimmer trim and I just trim it in my trimmer. It's probably kind of hard on my blade, but it's the easiest way to get a straight edge on that. And it's adhesive backed. So I'm just placing that down on the side of the card and I'm kind of tucking it underneath the edge of that popped panel. Okay, so now it's time to start layering the happy. And after doing this, I realized that it would have been a lot easier to put my cardstock on some adhesive paper and then run the whole thing through my Big Shot to make a sticker. It would have been easier than using wet glue, but this worked. I used the Aqua Tombow because when it dries, it dries matte. And this did get a little messy trying to get it down onto the happy die cut. But after fiddling with it for a little bit, I made it work. So this holographic paper, um, the best thing to use on it is like a Tombow tape runner, or you can make a sticker out of it, out of whatever you're putting on top of it. Wet glue is not a great thing to use because it can, once wet glue gets on it, it smears and it's just impossible to fix that. So I'm trimming out my birthday sentiment. And laying everything on my card front to make sure I'm happy with the way it all looks. And then I'm going to use my Tombow tape runner to attach it. So I've got some other cards that I made using this similar design and I'll show you some photos at the end. I'll make a list of all of these supplies in the description below with links and they are all available right now except for that happy birthday embossing folder um, in my online store. And they're available in the May-June catalog, so a couple more months. So there's my finished card. I love this holographic paper. It's fun to work with. It's a little tricky to photograph, but it's pretty cool. 
And then here's another card that I made and the holographic paper is the happy overlay. And then I added a couple of gems to that design. And then here is a landscape version. So I appreciate you taking some time today and watching my video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.